Joe Wheeler here for the Call of the Action with Southern States Wrestling. No better way to kick off the program this week than with ladies tag, ladies action, as we see the former ladies champion Misty James making her way to the ringside area to take on Melody Madrox, the current Southern States Wrestling ladies champion. Should be a tremendous matchup to start off this week's program. Fans, we're glad you're tuned in, turned on, and checking out Southern States Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this match, one fall, 30-minute time limit for the Southern States ladies title. Introducing first, the champion from Atlanta, Georgia, Melody Madrux. And her challenger tonight from Gate City, Virginia, country strong, Misty James. One fall, 30-minute time limit. There you heard the introductions are taken care of for this matchup. One fall, 30-minute contest for the Southern States Wrestling Ladies Championship. As Misty James is looking to regain her title, if at all possible, here against Melody Madrux. And, of course, we've seen the footage last week of how Misty was robbed of the title. And she has got a focus, and that focus is getting that Ladies Championship back up. Hopefully that's going to happen. For her in the very, very near future, as Misty has proven she is country strong and been a tremendous ladies' championship, a ladies' champion, and a great ambassador all across the area for Southern States Wrestling, as uh, she certainly has a tremendous fan base. Misty coming right out to fight today. A couple of hip tosses right here. Got Melanie Madrox in trouble as Madrox seeks the refuge of the floor as... Um, Mr. James definitely fired up. She's ready to get her ladies' championship back where it belongs. No question about that. Fans, we're glad you're tuned in, turned on, and checking out Southern States Wrestling, no matter how you may be joining us all across this great world of ours. want to remind you, Saturday, September the 24th, Daniel Boone High School in Gray, Tennessee. We've got a tremendous card lined up for Gray, Tennessee, Saturday, September the 24th. You want to be sure to join us. It is a fundraising event for the Key Club there at Daniel Boone High School. Misty in control of the action, got the arm ringer going, and she's setting her up here. A big suplex right there is Misty now in for a cover. Referee's in and got a two count on that one. Then, of course, Saturday, September the 1st, Bradshaw, West Virginia. We're coming to see you for the Bradshaw, West Virginia Fall Festival. The festival starts, or the wrestling action starts at 1230. There will be a parade at 11 o'clock, and you can meet and greet all the stars of Southern States Wrestling there in Bradshaw, West Virginia, during the parade at 11, and then for the wrestling action starts at 1230. This matchup has spilled out to the floor here as Misty James is in hot pursuit of Melody Madrix. And Misty right here, oh, just took her right into the steel ring post. As, you know, Misty, she's very upset about losing that ladies' championship and how it went about. And you can see she has come for a fight right here against Melody Madrox in this matchup. As Misty, in a, a bit of an unusual move, but took Melody into that steel ring post as the rules have gone out the window here a bit in this matchup. And you can't blame Misty the way she was. that title was stolen from her. You can't blame any tactic pretty much that she uses at this point in order to gain her ladies' championship back. And she's always been a tremendous wrestler and fought very strictly by the rule book. But, you know, sometimes as the old saying goes, you got to fight fire with fire. And uh, you got to do what you got to do. And... Misty now. Oh, well, they. Misty fell for the old handshake deal right there. As um, Melody Madrix now, she is opening up on Misty. Got her over in the corner. Catches her with a series of shots now. Laying in those shoulder blocks on her. As Melody Madrix is doing anything she can as well to retain her ladies' championship. And Misty coming out swinging. Tell you what, we got a cat fight in the ring here. These girls are going at it. Big clothesline right there. Misty Carter, she's got her for cover. Only got a two count on that one. You talk about the animosity, the hard feelings. These girls, I tell you what. Oh, rake of the eyes right there. Melanie Madrix used those claws. 
that some people call fingernails. She's got them sharpened down like claws and rake the eyes of Misty right there. Into the rope she goes, and do si do around they go. He caught her right there with a nice drop toe hold. Melody Madrix employing some wrestling in this brawl thus far. As Madrix now applying a ton of pressure, reaches up, grabs the arms, and she's got Misty in a bad place at this point in time. Grounded down on the canvas. Applying a tremendous amount of pressure to the legs, hips. Rolls her over now. Got a single leg going as Madrix now steps over. Using it like a spinning toe hold here. And Misty's had about enough of it. She swings her other leg over, trips her, and now has Madrix in what looks almost like an Indian death lock of sorts. She's got those legs crossed over. And now Misty firmly in control as Melanie Madrix finds herself down on the canvas and in trouble at the hands of the Queen of Kingsport, Misty James. Misty will be joining us on Saturday, September the 4th, 24th at Daniel Boone High School in Gray for the big fundraiser for the Key Club. You want to be sure to be a part of that event. Fans want to encourage everybody from Johnson City, Bristol, Elizabethan, throughout the entire area. You folks over in Rogersville, it's not long of a drive. Come on over and join us in Great Tennessee, Saturday, September the 24th at Daniel Boone High School. It's going to be a tremendous night with Southern States Wrestling. As Misty here continuing working over Melody Madrox. And she's got her in trouble as Madrox now has sought the refuge of the ropes. Misty's allowing her a break. As per the referee's orders, she has to break the hold and step away. The referee again trying to get a proper restart to the matchup here. And, of course, Saturday, October the 1st, Bradshaw, West Virginia, we're coming to see you. The fall festival, the parade starts at 11 o'clock and the wrestling starts at 12.30 in Bradshaw, West Virginia, Saturday, October the 1st. So you want to be sure to join us for that great event as well up in Bradshaw, West Virginia. Irish whip into the far side as Melanie Madrox follows it up with a big clothesline right there on Misty. And Melanie's feeling good at this point in time. She's feeling a bit more confident than she was earlier in the contest, that's for sure. Sending Misty James hard into the buckle. Melody coming in and missed right there. Misty James now got her in trouble. Spins her around into a bulldog headlock. In for a cover as well. And she got her right there. She got her, Misty James. Misty James is your winner. She has won her ladies' championship back right here in Southern States Wrestling Fans. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with more wrestling action right after this timeout. Calvary Baptist Church, 1238 Pine Street, Kingsport, Tennessee. Regular schedule of services, Sunday, 9.15 a.m. for Bible study fellowship class for all ages. 10.30 a.m. worship. 6 p.m. blast for children, wake for youth. Sunday night life for adults. Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. children and youth activities. 3D Bible study for adults. Are you looking for classic Southern Wrestling DVDs from the days of promoter Nick Goulas, Southeastern Wrestling, or Continental Wrestling? How about DVDs from Southern States Wrestling featuring the Legends of the Ring and some of today's top stars? Maybe you are looking for the three-disc set of Bill Dundee's career and memories, or the two published books by Bo James about his life in wrestling. Keep up with the careers and life away from the ring of the award-winning Dynamic Wrestling James duo. All of this and a lot more at kingofkingsport.com. That's kingofkingsport.com. Rooster Rob's is farmhouse fresh. Located at 2544 Highway 81 North, Jonesboro, Tennessee. Open Thursday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Walk-ins welcome or call ahead for your takeout order. 
Visa, American Express, MasterCard, Discover, and Cash Accepted. That's Rooster Rob's, 2544 Highway 81 North, Jonesboro, Tennessee. Open Thursday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Their friendly staff is waiting to serve you. Stop in this week and tell them Bo James sent you. Welcome back, wrestling fans. Joe Wheeler here for Southern States Wrestling. Want to remind you, Daniel Boone High School in Gray, Tennessee. We're doing a tremendous fundraiser for the Key Club there at the Daniel Boone High School, Gray, Tennessee, Saturday, September the 24th. You want to be sure to join us in Gray. Saturday, October the 1st, Bradshaw, West Virginia. The parade starts at 11 o'clock. You can meet and greet the stars of Southern States Wrestling at the parade at 11 and also at the wrestling action that starts at 1230, Saturday, October the 1st, Bradshaw, West Virginia. Fans, right here next week, Scott Sterling and Bo James will defend the Southern States Wrestling Tag Team titles against John Noble and Ray Idol. Let's take a right... Let's take a moment right now and listen to some comments from the champions, and then we'll take a look at the challengers. Right here stands the two greatest wrestlers in the history of Southern States Wrestling. And for years, we beat each other up. For years, we beat each other to death. But you look at us standing here looking so good today because you know why? Scott Sterling has wore off on me a little bit. We have become a team. There is no I in team. You know where you find an I in team? In the A-hole. That's where you find it. And Scott Sterling and Bo James are not A-holes. Also available at kingofkingsport.com. Don't miss this. The history of Kingsport Pro Wrestling 1960-69. Including a 100-year history lesson on pro wrestling in East Tennessee. Dozens of rare photos. Facts versus fiction. On area wrestling folklore. How Ron Wright and Whitey Caldwell became household names. What international stars wrestled in Kingsport. Who drew the biggest attendance of the era? Where was the biggest cards held? All of this and more. Don't miss this. On sale now, kingofkingsport.com. 
Every order from my website comes signed, accompanied by a DVD of The Legends of King Sport and two rare audio CDs featuring East Tennessee wrestling from the 1970s. Don't miss this. Get it today. All right, Bell's gone. It should be a tremendous match up here to determine a new Southern States Wrestling heavyweight champion as we've got the Iron Cross on the right-hand side of your screen wearing the blue mask. And Joe Briggs is his challenger, or his opponent, should I say, in this contest here with Southern States Wrestling. We're going to determine a brand-new heavyweight champion right here in this matchup as, of course, you saw the footage with Joe Briggs one preliminary matchups leading into this in order to take on Iron Cross for the heavyweight championship this week. So Iron Cross now going to work on the arm of Joe Briggs. Iron Cross, of course, is a former Southern States Wrestling heavyweight champion, former not only singles champion, but also in the tag team division as well. He's got Briggs rolled up right here, got a two count on that one. Here, right here in the opening moments of this contest, fans. Tell you what, should be a great matchup. Of course, Joe Briggs, former television champion here in Southern States Wrestling. He is a tremendous competitor. Don't really like the guy as a person or as a competitor by any question, but uh, he is a, a good wrestler. I can't take that away from him by any means, um, even though some of the things that he's done in his time here in Southern States Wrestling have been highly, highly questionable. Iron Cross, of course, coming to you at 222 pounds from the kingdom of heaven. Absolutely tremendous veteran competitor here in Southern States Wrestling. Iron Cross has truly uh, been there and done that in the world of professional wrestling, no question about it, and continues to be one of the top stars throughout the entire Southeast. Drop toe hold right there, floats over his man. And it's because of basic, great, fundamental wrestling like that. The Iron Cross uh, has been a champion on multiple times and I'm sure will continue to be in the future. And a great ambassador for the Lord as he uh, makes his way around the ring each and every time, handing out Bibles to people. As uh, Iron Cross, tremendous not only competitor, but also a tremendous person as well, inside and outside of that squared circle. Iron Cross still in control of Joe Briggs, brings his man back into the corner. Briggs now with a slight advantage here, referee's calling for a break, as, oh, of course, Briggs not gonna break clean. Takes a couple shots at the Iron Cross. But Cross right here, firing back. Iron Cross now takes his man over, face first into that top turnbuckle. And don't think for a minute Iron Cross can't fight fire with fire. He'll throw a closed fist here and there, but for the most most part, his shots are open hand as they are supposed to be according to the rule books. Iron Cross, nice arm drag takeover right there. Got Joe Briggs in control on the canvas at this point in time in the contest. 
And, of course, folks, like I said, the winner of this matchup will be your new Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Iron Cross in control, winding up on the arm of Joe Briggs, takes his man, Irish whip across. And Briggs was able to put on the brakes right there. Caught Iron Cross with a big DDT as Joe Briggs caught Cross with a kick or two coming off the ropes and then drove him face first with that DDT. Iron Cross, though, kicks out with great authority. He's stunned and staggered from that DDT, but he's far from done, I can assure you that. Joe Briggs continuing to work over Cross now, focusing his attack on the leg of the Iron Cross. Fans, don't forget, Saturday, September the 24th, Daniel Boone High School in Gray, Tennessee. It's a fundraiser for the Key Club there at the Daniel Boone High School. Saturday, September the 24th is going to be a tremendous night of wrestling action. You want to be sure to join us on Saturday, September the 24th, Daniel Boone High School in Gray. I'm sure the Iron Cross is going to be there. Joe Briggs is going to be there. Bo James the King of Kingsport and his queen, Misty James, who you just saw recapture her ladies' championship earlier in this program. Bo and Misty will be there, I'm sure, on Saturday, September the 24th in Gray, Tennessee, at the Daniel Boone High School. It's a short drive from Johnson City. It's a short drive from Kingsport. Not far from Bristol either. So we want everybody throughout the Tri-Cities to come and join us Saturday, September the 24th, Daniel Boone High School in Gray, Tennessee. It'll be a great event of live Southern States wrestling action. And it'll be a good time for everyone, I'm sure. Joe Briggs continuing to control the Iron Cross here. Got his man grounded here, applying a ton of pressure to the leg. As Briggs continuing his assault on the Iron Cross as uh, Joe Briggs in control of the action. No question about that as uh, Iron Cross definitely in trouble. <clears throat> Fans, we do want to remind you also, Saturday, October the 1st, Bradshaw, West Virginia, at the Fall Festival. The parade starts at 11. You can meet and greet the wrestling stars prior to the parade start at 11 o'clock. And then, of course, the wrestling action kicks off at 1230. That's in Bradshaw, West Virginia, Saturday, October the 1st. As we got a backslide coming up here, Iron Cross got his man down and got a two count only on it. Tremendous maneuver there by the Iron Cross. The strength, the balance, the agility it takes to get a man in that position. As he was able to do so successfully as Briggs now has got him choked across that second rope. And this is some of those questionable tactics that I was referring to earlier by Joe Briggs. He's a tremendous wrestler, no question about that, but he resorts to the to the easy street, if you will, by choking and eye gouging and that type of tactic. And, um, and again, utilizing that rope to choke the Iron Cross across that second rope. As Joe Briggs now in control of the action, he knows there's a tremendous, on, tremendous amount on the line here. Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Championship is on the line in this matchup here. Iron Cross up and over his man, got him rolled up here and almost caught him. Got a two count on that. And Briggs comes right up with a big clothesline right in the face of Iron Cross. Cross tried to block it, but he wasn't able to block all of that momentum that Joe Briggs had going into it. Joe Briggs now focusing his attack back on the legs of the Iron Cross. Looks like he's going for it. Yeah, figure four leg lock here. As the Iron Cross now is definitely in trouble. As Joe Briggs is utilizing the figure four leg lock, of course, made famous by the world renowned nature boy Ric Flair. Briggs now putting all the pressure he can into this figure four, trying to take away the foundation of the Iron Cross. Cross now, if he's able to roll this thing over, no, he was getting close there. That's one of the ways you can alleviate the pressure and reverse the figure four leg lock is by rolling over onto your stomach and then rear back and you can reverse the effects. But Cross just didn't have it in him right then to 
complete the maneuver. He was well on his way. Iron Cross, of course, has uh, battled some of the great, the greatest legends in the history of of wrestling, and got a two count once again there. The fans here in Great Tennessee, where this matchup is being was being recorded, having a great time here with us. And we want to remind everyone in gray, once again, Saturday, September the 24th, Daniel Boone High School in Gray, Tennessee. Tremendous night of Southern States wrestling. And there you see Iron Cross now was able to reverse that figure four. And now it's been broken up here. It takes a tremendous amount of pressure on the legs to do the reversal. And you can see the, the effects on both men as both men are having trouble standing at this point in time. Iron Cross back to a vertical base now, going back to work on Joe Briggs. And Briggs right there just slingshotted Cross across that top rope. Once again, Briggs using those questionable tactics, choking and using the ropes to his advantage. Briggs trying to go up to that top rope now. Iron Cross has caught him on that top rope. He's got him and brings him down the hard way. Big full body slam off of that top rope. Briggs is in trouble at this point. Swings wildly. Iron Cross right there just drove him in. Belly to back suplex. And I mean he got every bit of that one. Cross now feeling good. Looks like he's going to go to work on the legs of Joe Briggs. He sure is. He's applying a figure four leg lock of his own. And now Briggs feels the effect of that figure full four in full force as he has got Joe Briggs in trouble now. Referee's checking to see if Briggs wants to submit. Briggs in a tremendous amount of pain, no doubt about it. Iron Cross is putting in all the pressure he can on that figure four. Briggs trying to make it, and he does. He made it to that bottom rope, which necessitates the break. Iron Cross broke cleanly and immediately, being the tremendous competitor he is, abiding by the rules. Cross now going right into work on Briggs. He knows he's got him in trouble. Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Championship hanging in the balance here. This match could go either way, and it could go very quickly here as both men have suffered a tremendous amount of impact from this matchup. As Cross now, oh, got caught by that clothesline right there by Joe Briggs. Briggs now trying to get it together. This is his moment. He better do something and do something fast. He's got the Iron Cross down and hurt as Briggs is still suffering from those figure fours as he's trying to get it together. He's making that climb to the top rope. Joe Briggs now perched on that top rope, comes across and Br Iron Cross was able to get out of the way. Joe Briggs got nothing but canvas on that one. Nothing but the ring as both men lay stunned and staggered. Fans, don't forget, Saturday, September 24th, Daniel Boone High School, Great Tennessee. Saturday, October the 1st, Bradshaw, West Virginia for the Fall Festival. Both men are back up. Both men are swinging. Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Championship hanging in the balance here. We've got a fist fight now. Iron Cross now brings Briggs over, takes him face first into that top turnbuckle. And now, oh, Briggs went to the eyes right there, poked his man right in the eyes. Dirty cheating tactics right there by Joe Briggs. Iron Cross now, oh, went for a roll up. Briggs held onto the ropes. Clothesline attempt. Des Press, this could do it. Des Press could do it. And it did right there. As you see the replay, the Luthes Press employed by the Iron Cross as he just captured the Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Championship right here. And what a tremendous champion the Iron Cross will be. There you see your new Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the Iron Cross. Fans, we'll see you Saturday, September 24th in Gray, Tennessee.